military equipment, boots, camouflage, even high-power binoculars, and sophisticated night vision gear. It's all U.S. equipment coveted by the Taliban and now openly for sale in the Pakistani border town of Peshawar. Our CBS News camera took these exclusive pictures of looted U.S. military supplies. We're told there are U.S. weapons for sale here too, improving Taliban capabilities and posing a growing risk to U.S. and coalition forces. This is state-of-the-art military equipment. If you're going to fight um, a, a war these days, you're much better fighting it at night. And if you've got the equipment to fight at night, the sniper scopes and the night vision equipment, you can put the enemy off balance. All this brand new equipment ends up here after increasing Taliban attacks on NATO convoys. Nearly 80% of everything the U.S. forces need, weapons, fuel, food, passes daily through one choke point, the Khyber Pass between Pakistan and Afghanistan. This week, the Taliban blew up this bridge. There is no other. These fuel tankers belong to the American company Mondo International, working for the Department of Defense. The routes through Pakistan are now so insecure, says the company vice president, it's time to find a new way in. If you are the Taliban, you're probably contemplating the next uh, strategic stranglehold. So as you look on the horizon, uh, it's unlikely that that threat will go away. The best routes are to the north, but there are problems. The Russians have agreed to let only some supplies in. And in Kyrgyzstan, where the U.S. has had an important air base, the government, under Russian pressure, says the U.S. has to go. The Russians can start to play power games with this, and this is exactly what I think we're seeing now. More troops need more supplies. More supplies mean more vulnerable convoys, with the risk of more and even better equipment falling into the hands of the people it is meant to fight. Sheila McVicker, CBS News, London.